morning. This is Anka Metcalf with TradeOutloud.com. Welcome to my pre-market game plan for the major future indices, gold and oil. For today, it is April 26th. It is 9.13 a.m. Eastern Time. So let's take a look at the market and see uh, what is going on today. Um, first off, we're going to start with NQ. This time, overnight support, 55.43. And we have resistance at 55.57, which was established yesterday. And overnight resistance, 55.55. So this is a very tight base that we have going on right now. So at this point, a break over 55.55 can take the price higher to 55.60 and ultimate target level of 5600 on our way to 5600 there is another target area 5570 and 5570 uh, um, and uh, if we break this resistance th this support level to the downside the 5546 level the first area that will be visited is 55 uh, 43 then we're gonna fall again into the 5530 area so as you can see here we have been ranging for quite some time the price is trading uh, literally above the 20 period moving average is basing very very strongly however we've had a climactic run yesterday uh, creating these highs at 55 57 and right now the market is taking its time digesting these highs in order to continue higher uh, what I see here going on is that we need to trade uh, into the main direction of the trend. So therefore, uh, over 55, and this is going to be a rather a little bit larger range here. It's going to be a 10 point range, but this is the way we should uh, play this out over 55. Like I've mentioned, the prior targets on a pullback, we will look for additional buy areas into the pullback areas of 35, probably 20 around this area if we should get a steeper pullback. So I'm not going to be shorting this area, uh, at least as of, uh, not as of right now. All right, so let's, so the first two hours in the morning at least. All right, YM has been, uh, has been a little bit more aggressive to the upside, creating a new high uh this week 20,997 going for that 21,000 level that we have been talking about for the last few days um so it was three points away from hitting the 21,000 level support came back tested the overnight support 20,925 927 area and right now it's back into the bottom of this base a breach of the this base 930 uh, can't take the price back lower into 2900 and even into the 870 area. So these are going to be the pullback areas. A uh, little bit tougher call in uh, Imini Dow since it's already trading in a large void right here, as you can see from all the way from 29 to the whole number. So um, this this right here is going to be a little bit tougher to trade in terms that we need a little bit more confirmation. So uh, I would say we would wait for uh, 970 to clear before continuing higher. And for the downside, the next pullback areas, like I mentioned before, at 29,000 and all the way into 850. Let's take a look at the S&P 500 index. And um, in S&P 500 index is a little clear in terms of uh entry areas so we have overnight support 2382 and we have resistance 2386 and 89 from this prior high right here right now we're trading into this upper area at 87 which is resistance from the daily chart from a peak that was formed on march 16th if we digest these highs over here 2386 uh this is going to be the entry area for a potential continuation higher all the way to 2400 if a pullback a pull if if, if we should enter a pullback phase uh 2382 is the breach area and we should look for 2380 all the way into the 2376 area also let's take a look at oil and we did have um, the api numbers that came out yesterday at 4:30 uh, p.m eastern time and uh as you can see here the the price uh dropped and then uh it stabilized we've been talking about this uh, rejection at the 50 dollar area and also this bounce off the 49 area very sloppy range for uh intraday trading so uh, we will see how it will uh, set up more today. So just keep in mind that today is 
Wednesday and we have oil numbers that are coming in at 1030. So we will evaluate and see where the oil number are going to go after the 1030 time frame. All right, let's take a look at GC. Uh, and this is uh, gold. Uh, GC right now uh, is trading again, once again, on this support level, it's grinding a little bit lower. 21.62 uh, is uh, the support, the overnight support, and overnight resistance is at 12.67. So it's been trading in a very sloppy range, and for the last few days, at least, it has been very choppy and has been um, trading in really wide ranges throughout the intraday trading. All right, one last look uh, by popular demand on ZB, and we did have a trade in the 30-year U.S. Treasury bonds yesterday uh, where it was consolidating very weakly. It was uh, literally, and we had a short here. Uh, we had a short at 24. It flurried down back into the support at 20, and in fact, we were looking for a breach of this 20 level to carry it lower into the into the um, 152 area that was our uh, ultimate target area this area right here however what happened was we got shaken out of the trade and then because of the because of the base here um, um, this uh, this uh, in this uh, the US Treasury bond the 30 year US Treasury bond happened um, it was bouncing off the support level so at this time it went over 153 level it was looking like it really wants to retrace a little higher so however uh, the trade worked exactly to our target however because of the tight stop that we had in place we got shaken out of this trade uh, also, this has the potential to run um, further lower. Um, the rejection is coming in at 20, 152, 20 area, and it has the potential to go all the way to 151. So this is the next target for um, the 30-year Treasury bond. This was all for today. Thanks for joining. I'll see you for more trading ideas in the private Twitter feed. In the meantime, um, Focus on the open in the market. Nothing very aggressive right off the open since the market is facing. And uh, hope you all have a very profitable trading day. See you tomorrow.